so dirty. How will I ever get it clean? An ordinary liquid just can't compete with flash liquid on this bathtub ring. Because used neat, flash liquid starts dissolving it on contact. A quick rinse and flash is a clean window. On sinks. On walls. On tiles. Flash liquid starts dissolving greasy grime on contact, so you can wipe out dirt in a... Everyone knows these men have to look clean and play dirty. So we ask them to put their whites through the roughest, toughest test. Stains which were ground in, crushed in, soaked in, and then on a two-hour march, dried in. These impossible stains were put into combat against Aerial, and a new powder, new Aerial, now with improved cleaning power. Look close up at these fibers. Even biological Aerial can't cope with this soaked-in stain. But new Aerial, even at low temperatures, removes the ground-in dirt. A very important person came the next day and passed every uniform washed in new Aerial with flying colors. Because even after the toughest stain test, new Aerial got the clothes not just nearly clean, but really clean. In the beginning, there was the dance hall. Then there was the disco. And now, the nightclub of the future. Witness the awesome power of twin beam argon lasers. 56,000 watts of brilliant light and an atmosphere of rare dimensions. The dawning of a new era in entertainment is here. Now. Flicks. Probably the best nightclub ever. £20 allowance on your old video recorder against the new NEC VHS recorder at Dyson District, Aberdeen Turf and Asda Shopping Centre, Dice. Here are the North headlines. A baby's life has been saved by a specialist delivery at Aberdeen's maternity hospital instead of the rural unit where she was supposed to have been born. Grampian Health Board say today's case justifies their plans to close down seven of the smaller maternity units. The baby was scheduled to be born at Tafins, but when complications arose, the mother was rushed under police escort to Aberdeen Maternity Hospital, where she gave birth to an eight pounds, four and a half ounce girl. Meanwhile, general practitioners in Keith say they feel angry and slighted over criterion laid down by the health board, stating that any maternity unit delivering less than 100 babies a year does not have the obstetric practice required. The SNP are demanding assurances that Chancellor Nigel Lawson will continue to block takeover bids from Britoil, Britain's biggest independent oil company. The Nationalists say BP's decision to press ahead with a multi-million bid despite a Treasury veto makes a mockery of the will of Parliament. There's been a sharp pre-Christmas rise in drinking and driving in Grampian. Figures for last week show that 26 drivers were over the limit, an increase of 10 on the same period last year. Aberdeen Council tenants are facing a rent rise of £1.84 a week because of a cut in the Scottish office housing allocation. The District Council's share of the housing budget has been slashed by one and three quarter million pounds. Aberdeen Football Club has slapped a ban on North Sound, the local radio station, following its decision to go ahead with a phone-in programme hosted by former Don star Joey Harper. North Sound will no longer have access to Don's manager Ian Porterfield, nor any of his players. Joy Harper's first programme on Saturday gave fans the chance to air their views and the company say there's no question of the show being taken off. And finally, football in the Scottish Cup first round replay, East Stirling 2 in the Nest Caledonian 1. East Stirling will be away to Bucky Thistle in the second round. That's the late news. Now look at the weather. First for tonight, there will be stormy conditions in the far north and over the northern isles for a time, accompanied by some showers, most of these occurring in the north and near the west coast. 
Sheltered eastern areas will stay mainly dry and will miss the worst of the wind. Now the forecast for Tuesday, first for the Northern Isles, where there will probably still be westerly gales and a few showers first thing in the morning. However, the winds will ease during the day and any showers will gradually die out to leave bright intervals, particularly over Orkney. Northern and western parts of the mainland, including the Western Isles, will also start quite windy with one or two showers, but once again the winds should ease quite quickly during the day and any showers will have largely died out by lunchtime. Sheltered eastern districts, including Aberdeen, will stay generally dry and bright, with the fresh, locally strong westerly winds easing off during the day. Temperatures will be a bit lower than the very recent mild conditions, but even so will still be a couple of degrees above average. And the outlook, rain on Tuesday night will be followed by bright conditions and a few showers on Wednesday, accompanied by strong south to southwest winds. And that's the weather. This Wednesday on ITV, a modern model tale for Christmas. Loretta Young stars as a rich American widow with a devotion to charity. You can't change the world. Oh. That's such a poor excuse for doing nothing. I think Mrs. Kingsley's conduct's gone beyond the point of eccentricity. Officer, what are you doing? Two ladies in the way. Why can't you just accept the fact that I'm trying to protect you? Me? For my money. Charity begins at home in Christmas Eve, Wednesday, 10.30 on ITV. And with only three shopping days left to Christmas, I hope you'll all find time to enjoy the festive goodies on show here at Grampian. Tomorrow evening, there's comedy with Morecambe and Wise at 8, another case for the Equaliser at 9, and at 10.30, the celebrated American singer Jesse Norman brings you a Christmas symphony. And that's followed at 11.30 with Casey Kasem, who hosts an all-time Christmas top 10. So join us here tomorrow evening. And with the time at 25 minutes past 12, this is Kay Duncan wishing you all a very peaceful night's rest. Good night. And don't forget to switch off and unplug your TV set. Good night.